how you can see this is the cc and b and in the background is very stories there it's a uh, before half an hour some kind of an uh, initiative jobs are there so this jobs are running now fine so now if after login in system okay after login in system you will find the uh, some home page okay whatever your uh, template is defined you can uh, find as a home page so this page is showing as a user page okay this page is showing as a user page because they have on a first page they set it as a user okay why it is coming blank because we have not uh, search anything okay if you not search it will be show as a blank so so this page and uh, if you see as i explain ki this four part are there uh, the dashboard area is the right side and uh, this on a movable area you can see this is the movable area why it is blank because we have not loaded any data okay this can be hide it to maximize this on uh, uh, center page okay this can be maximized but uh, always keep ready because we need to adjust uh, with full information so so you can uh, minimize this is the one thing you can uh, understand then we have on the top of that these are the toolbar area home menu admin search area and history area these are the toolbar area on the top of toolbar area that an uh, oracle on uh, logo is there but that is static below we have that on uh, a page page header so this is called the second thing page header where whatever page you are there that page will be displayed to you so now i am in the uh, user page so user header is showing to me and this uh, is our uh, uh, center for center of the text area where you can search and the type anything okay then if you want to if you click the control center they have given the shortcut key if you click on the control center page you will find in the this is uh, this is the control center or home page okay this is the control center and home page which you have that search by the name you can search by um, you can search by address and these are the some uh, things are there if you click here so these are the search option are there by name by account id by person contact by person id and the geo type some of the characteristics value you are storing so if i you know if i go from the back end if i take any random account so let me check any random account or okay so this i will take one account okay so if i take this account so if if you know the account you can change this to account and you can put here account number okay once you click here here one option is there if you are if your system supporting to multiple ci division so you can uh, make it filter also if you don't want just search with all okay so now if you uh, click on search all see so since i search with the unique key so that's why what happened page loaded and it go in the further step but if you if you come here if you come again in the control center page or if you give some name okay if you uh, control center page if you click on control center page it will come blank or if you give some uh, name okay uh, brazil let's say if i give brazil because this is a product is an and uh, that uh, the data is uh, from mark brazil only they were that and uh, a developer okay so their data see so now it is coming to because i given i given some permutation so with that name uh, records are there so you will find that uh, search area then you choose uh, what is the best for you and what you are looking for that otherwise give some unique thing if you give some unique thing it will come only one see loaded one and it is go in the further because there is no sub uh, sub on a selection okay you are not doing sub selection because you entered the very unique key account is unique key but if you give the name na so name you know already in said if you search in the market you will get an a thousand something like permutation combination said and a some something uh, in between or an a surname or family name like that only and an said also you will find syed also you find so that kind of an um, and uh, but the s double ed also you find you find uh, with name with uh, more so that permutation combination work so if you want uniquely so you put your account number or mobile number okay so see after say, after once you give the data got loaded here okay so you can see data got loaded here or i can see the customer on a 360 360 degree view this is called the uh, control center is also known as a 360 degree view because 360 means one round one round means complete information okay 360 means one circle means you are starting you are started you after running you reach to that place only so that means you have covered the full area okay 
So that is called the 360 degree view and full round on information. So you can see here that customer information is loaded. Some of the, some of the, as I explained, it will be expanded form and some of the things will be collapsed form. Why? Because Anna, if you expand everything in the configuration, then what will happen? Loading will take some time. So that's why they, they Anna, prefer or recommend that don't Anna, expand Anna, all on a zone. These are the zone. Okay. These are the zone. I will go later. So, so if you expand everything, so what will happen? Loading time will increase. So that's why the basic things, whatever information required, that is expanded and what we, uh, the rest is the collapse form. Collapse means uh, uh, like packed form. So then if you want to explore that one, so you can explore. Okay. So if you want to see the detail and uh, like uh, <clears throat> some of the area is expanded. Okay. So you can uh, uh, click here and uh, so see here information is loaded because they know that okay, I am this information I am giving the dashboard area also. So that's why they have uh, purposely collapsed this one. Okay. Credit and collection information, if, if anything there, so you can expand that one. Uh, there is no value. Okay. So whatever value, if you find an, uh, here, drop down, if you can do as like customer information. So see, customer information is expanded. It is showing here. Okay. So this way, as I explained you, ki, that in that, uh, what we call the in preferences, in prefer preferences, I show that one. If there is some options there, you can uh, like uh, expand and collapse the services. Okay. And later, if you want purposely to see, go and see, you can expand here. So customer information is initially, it was in the collapse form and I expanded and we can see the customer information can be seen. What is the mobile number? Uh, what is the email ID? Some uh, ID type. So these are the basic information you can see. So this, uh, this page is called as a portal. Okay. This page is called as a portal. And this portal means website, you know, you know, like website and here we say as a portal. This portal is divided in the zone. So if you see, these are the like blocks. If you see the blocks, this blocks is the zone. This is the timeline zone, customer information zone, bill graph zone. Okay. This is the SA premise list zone. Okay. So these are the small, small that on a section is called the zone. Okay. And that detail, I, as I explain you, okay, that will be covered in the advanced configuration where zone and portal what kind of zones are there some zones are on a your on a, on a information zone some zones are query zone okay information means just to show the information only query zone means inside some query running a data is updating okay so that zone and so uh, at basic level you can understand it is all blocks is called the zone which is in a mother like we are going to develop an independently so that if any query issue happen so that particular area will be will be in a like an issue will show and the rest page will be displayed so that on a dead dead end concept and suppose you are on a uh, you enter and in the page and, and uh, because of one issue your page is is in a got a, a scratched like you know. so that that's that should not be in an professionally so that's why they have that zone wise if if any particular area got on a corrupted by any data or any anything so that particular zone will be having the issue and you can go and modify and correct that one okay and 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 the rest information will be not disturbed so this zone area if you go to the configuration so let me give a little idea so you have the zone okay so you have that zone so this you see these are the zones there what you are looking in the uh, portal page so if you select anyone okay let's uh, select an uh, account payment bill history so see this is the june design and see it, it is a portal if you see in the portal account bill payment history so this is linked to this section so each zone will have a uh, link to the portal okay each, each zone will be linked to the base portal where that information can be shown so this is the zone this is the advanced configuration where we will uh, learn uh, how to uh, uh, give the zone and then description, then zone type. Each zone will have the zone type. This zone type is given by the Oracle. Okay. Zone type, uh, zone type is given by, from that we derived uh, our zone. So zone can be Saeed, zone can be Sanjay, zone can be Somya, zone can be you know, Logica, any name you can give. Okay. Zone can be any name can be given, but this zone type, what, what is the type of your zone? As I told you, we have that in a, in a, a query zone and we have the info zone. So that base, base is given by the Oracle that you can use that feature and then you can customize. 
like algorithm yani algorithm and algorithm type so algorithm type is given by that is a uh, more advanced thing that is a developer thing and that is the oracle on uh, on uh, oracle uh, give you with the with the system okay but uh, whatever he is given the algorithm type okay from that algorithm type i can generate the algorithm so always remember an uh, type is the base thing and uh, that an uh, algorithm is what you are going to create and whatever it is given to you like that only we have the zone zone what we are what we have and what we are going to and uh, create okay but zone type what what uh, that is the advanced thing zone type is advanced thing it is given by oracle what is that kind of the what is called the template so that template is given and on the template you are going to fit your data okay so this we can uh, do the configuration with that adding some uh, this values this we will see later but uh, just for uh, uh, like information in that as uh, if you refer the document you will find the second chapter itself is in a zone portal then you will see ki from the ui suddenly you move to the customer information but overview i want to give you how it look like but on uh, a getting inside and uh, it's not a right time okay so <clears throat> so these are the concept then if you see the right side area you will find the dashboard area whatever your alerts with the customer if it will be visible to you then customer and some and person account you can navigate from here some of the financial information visible you what is the current balance what is the pay of balance what is the last payment what is the last bill what is the previous so bill related it will show you the two payment related it will show you the one and that is the pay of balance okay so th this is the current balance and uh, this is the po balance sometime you will find some difference okay so sometime you will same sometime of the difference current balance means what you need to pay to the company okay okay and po balance is an uh, some kind of an uh, like a total liability so sometimes some some of the value is not linked with the current amount so that's why you will find difference this we will cover in an uh, some of the with the example so hmm. now you can see if you want to on a navigation okay now we will learn the navigation if you see that person and here so you can scroll right side you can see here a uh, uh, contest menu so one is the contest menu means from person you can navigate to these are the uh, pages means uh, these are the pages you can navigate to these pages so you can navigate either to the plus or either to the search why we need the search because you want to Uh, read the information to go to the search mode okay to do the selection existing data whenever you are in a navigating you follow the existing data from the search whenever you want to create something you will do the add so when you say the add means it will be open the blank form and you need to fill the data and you need to save the data to create the data okay so we will create the data through add button and we will search and uh, you want to go to the person page so so i can uh, click here and i can go to the person page so now i am in the person page now i can see you know what is the person information is there what is the person primary name okay what is the alias means and some and some and like and what we call the alias means some and alternate name you can say okay maybe some person having and two name one one for uh, like and uh, op uh, like and one for document name and one can be that that family given name same like and a nickname you can say so if somebody want to add their uh, nickname so that can be added or alias means uh, you want to some extra name some that can be added so one will be primary primary will be only one okay because you are going to uh, uh, give the bill to the primary customer not for alias so primary will be uh, will be receive that one okay then you have some an uh, alternate name and then you have storing the so this comes under the person if you say the ci underscore per name so you will find an uh, all uh, person id with the per name then you can say an uh, name type primary or name type alias okay so then you can do the query name type and uh, where name type equal to you want only primary so name type equal to primary so your first name will be only come in the report okay so that's way uh, that way you can find the person table so one of the person table come in the picture then you have the person contact this is the another table where you can store the all person information either email or phone number these are the information can be stored then have the third table person id so if you go go back to your uh, database so you can see that is a per person name and then we have per name then id and contact name 
So these are the table related. So one, two, three table. This is the three table, and then we have the uh, characteristics table. Then we have the person person table. Okay. So these are the. So if you go to the second thing on a correspondence here, as I told you, the address can be stored here also. Okay. Uh, address can be stored here also, and address can be picked from here. Okay. That is the one thing. Second thing, characteristics on a. In characteristics, and uh, these are the defined characteristics. If you want to store any additional information like nationality, like an uh, rating, citizens, anything information you want to store, you can you can select from here and you can add the value. Okay, this characteristics is two type. One is the predefined, and one is the one is called the uh, uh, like a free free text. You can say so you can type here. It is a free text. So if you choose any nationality here. So there is uh, sorry this uh, this uh, this characteristic is a, a predefined because you finding the search value. So whenever you are finding the search value, you are means you are not uh, you cannot freely type there because typing sometimes person type by lower upper spelling mistake. So we try to give the predefined value. But if sometimes you want to just store the free text value, so that time you can use that and uh, um, like free value free text. Let me check what is the uh, next one. So if you see that senior citizen here also they are giving the option only. Let me search another one. Uh, I think short comments. Okay, here you don't have the search button. See, here you don't have the search button. So these are the free text and characteristics. You can type anything. Any additional information can be stored. So these characteristics I will tell you how to create and all so that your and configuration part can be understand. Okay, so now you can see these are the then person person person. You can add any. Any your ana spouse, any your child, any your parent. So you can declare here what 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 we explain before. Okay. So these are the important area there. So this we can say the person information. As I show you from person, you can navigate. These are the area. Okay. So you can create the case from the person. You can create the customer contact from the person. You can create the statement from the person. Okay. So so. So case and contact I will create in the CRM and statement we will create in our billing area because this is related to billing. So this way you can and from person you can and navigate and create some of the things. Okay. Then we have the account and if you see if somebody say go to the account, so don't and don't waste your time for and drop down button because account this hyperlink this this links are there. Go to so you you can directly click. I think we need to. Refresh the page. Okay, that is fine. So as soon as you click this on an account, your page will be directly go to the account. Okay, but if you want to go in that account related different options, okay, other option, then you choose this one. You want to create the bill. I told you that bill is created from the account. You want to make the payment. So you can go from that only. Okay, and some of the more feature is available for the account level. So you can directly go like that only. Similarly, you want to per, uh, from premise, okay? So CCNB they have person account and premise only because these are the important. So you can directly go to the premise. You can navigate to the related information. You can go to the service point also, okay? So this way you can navigate. Navigation is you know, if you click direct, it will go to that page only, okay? If you click direct, it will go to that page only. But if you want to go related, related and a uh, Tables uh, related and a process you can navigate from that and a context menu. Okay, that is the one option. Second option, if you don't like to go from there, you have the main menu. So main menu also you can see this is the process. This is the process, and through the process section you can navigate to any of the option. So this you need to and a more and a experience little. Okay, suppose I want to go to the bill. Up now bill will be in which process? After learning, you will understand that it is the financial part. So you will go to the directly financial bill. Okay, customer and some related. So you will find the customer information. So that module you need to map here, and it is already mapped there. Whatever you are learning in the customer information, you will find in the customer information. Whatever you are learning with the field activity or field order, you will find in this area. Whatever learning with the financial model, financial and a module like and a uh, we have that and a payment area. So you can find in the payment in a section. Whatever your some and um, some of the learning rate area. Okay, then we have the tools area. This tools area is basically used to run the report and to run the batches. So these two only you re remember. Okay, 
the tool area means if you want to run the report or if you want to run the batchage you have to go directly tool okay this tool you remember only for important two two things report and report and say report and what is that uh, two thing i told the report and zone that tools are uh, uh, report and report zone no batch batch is you know see i told batch, you two thing only batch okay the tool you have to remember only the batch okay the the batch tree this is the extra thing okay that is some of the things are not important so batch summary batch summary then you have that report and they're related with the report so only two important is there if you want to run the report you have to go in that and uh, what we call an uh, tool, uh, tools area okay tools area you will find the report and you will find the batch if you want to submit any batch okay i will show you in the meeting and billing area okay batches and the payment also so yes sir. anything madam okay fine i think the internal discussion something okay fine so now you, you see, uh, see that one so this we have to what we have to do first we have to you know, map the group what are the groups there and then each group you, you need to memorize okay initially you need to memorize to get some uh, some additional to make your speed fast okay make your uh, work uh, fast too you have to uh, do, play with the system okay this is the important thing you have to play with the system how much you will play how much you will learn how much you will familiar and how much your speed will be go and you are in a, your, because you are going to become as a user you are going to become as a uh, support and a support guy yani you are supporting to users okay and you are going in the implementation so your speed and understanding should be more than the next person so my understanding and and speed should be more than you like that only because you are learning and i am uh, uh, training so in that way one one step should be ahead okay one step should be ahead you, you have to uh, play with that and uh, information okay so now you can see so let's uh, focus on the focus on that and uh, customer information area so if you see the customer information then you see the you will find that account if you want to search any account so you can search from here also if you click here and uh, search account so you can provide that account number if you know the account number so you can provide here also see same page has come so you have multiple options from dashboard area from that on a text area and from that process by menu area so from menu area also i can create and i can search then second important thing is the admin admin is your system level configuration and advanced configuration this comes under the admin area okay at database level you can say or system level or advanced configuration this three three thing will be come under the admin so, okay this three thing will be uh, uh, come under the uh, admin and i will share you that two document one for the system configuration how to create the bill cycle how to create the service cycle how to create the meter how to create, do do the configuration how to wanna add that uh, configuration part okay so that part that that will be in the two part one will be the system configuration and one will be the advanced configuration advanced configuration means how this page is de designed okay so you understand the concept of the web pages okay website or web pages that how that ui design how portal design how some advanced configuration service script vps script so those kind of other uh, things and we will go in the third level so first we will go in the first level understanding the product or under uh, and uh, uh, do, uh, do, uh, doing the operations okay then second level how as a expert do the configuration okay configuration i will divide in the two part okay one system level on advance and whenever learning the system level that time i will give you the support of the database okay so this way we have the four thing one is the uh, like an a uh, product and a uh, uh, understanding and the daily operations second thing will go in the second thing will go in the database level and the system configuration and third category will be my uh, my the advanced configuration that for in you know, advanced learning and advanced supporting and system level so now you see the so here you will find the system uh, and it means configuration area uh, so again you need to go through the each process by suppose i want to create the bill cancel region i want to add so bill cancel region is already there in the system see these are the bill cancel region is there in the system but somebody business ask can you add some more so you can say here plus and and you can give some code number okay you can give some 
let's say in a test okay i put here test and i can see here uh, uh, under uh, under testing okay you can see under something like that you can see here uh, sorry um, under okay under testing something you can do so this way you, you can add your own ana uh, like ana uh, bill cancel region so like that only you see uh, you can add your own cancel region somewhere uh, <coughs> we can create our ana uh, bill cycle okay add and search okay you can click on the search button you will find how many are there so these are the bill cycle are configured i have ana uh, added one for my testing purpose okay so these are the you can create your own bill cycle and that can be assigned okay so this way you see module wise all configurations are there which is required on the uh, daily operation basis or maybe ad hoc basis so let's use the good word ad hoc basis so this configuration is done by the expert ad hoc basis yani business and requirement purpose and one i to as i told you that is the advanced and very rare and less because that will be go more on a more testing more on a more configuration more on a like on a for your like on a long term you can say that is called the long long term type way that is the zone and pattern as with the an, an algorithm is there okay so you can find this all option from the like on all options from that on a in the admin menu then very important is ki if you are not able to find out just try to click on uh, right in the search button so suppose i want to see bill cancel okay i if i type bill cancel immediately that and are related with bill options come so you can choose easily and you can click here the bill bill cancel region you can go there you want to see the bill cycle i am not able to find out in bill which module is there so i can say bill bill so related with bill cycle has come see so you can search any you can see bill cycle has come so this is very friendly and very you know this is the beauty i find in the new version in 2.7 before that search was not on this option was not there okay so this is the in 2.5 uh, if you type any any module name it will open that here yeah, yeah eh? second second if you uh, type anything like uh, bill module or bill uh, yes yes account uh, info yes 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 see bank uh, if you want to see any bank na uh, type the bank and a bank related and a option has come so you can and a oh, okay. see uh, see existing one and you can see existing one and later you want to duplicate you want to add that you can so this is a very okay. nice and if you want to see yeah, and yeah, anything yeah. payment related so the and a payment what is the payment method pay plan so these are the option you can easily easily get the configuration area you can easily get from the search button okay you can get mm -hmm. a, a, a configuration also and a process also okay both you can get from here so this is the one very excellent beauty and uh, because going inside going to each module then finding you can best way you can type and you can get the options okay then we have that and uh, a history and uh, whatever history you want to see so you can directly jump to any pages and and you can go from the back and forward okay you can go from back and forward also and you can uh, click on the history you can directly get that whatever you recent pages and uh, you have visited okay uh, almost on uh, 8 to 10 and a uh, recent page so you can directly jump to that page also okay if you come to the person page so these are the very handful things and you want to okay class everything is done i do, don't want to uh, go so just you can directly click the account on a center page your home page and a fresh page has appeared and now you can uh, find out your Uh, on the home page so when you are working with any customer information you have end of the work then you can immediately click on the control center page your fresh home page will be open then you can start working the another account start working the another account start working the another account the control center page is just to come on the home page okay just to come on the home page and an uh, okay that to come to the home page so these are the like uh, matlab ki information let's go back to again to see that same thing okay so go beyond that one so then and as i explain you ki if you want to if you want to see information ki from the top see you can see the person information you can these are the uh, bill graph okay bill graph on a zone is there you can see the customer ana what is the consumption and what is that ana amount okay in the amount outstanding basis so these are the graphs so this give you some uh, information to understand the customer and uh, things okay so this can be also designed 
this can be designed then if you want to see that on a premise why it is showing the many premise uh, premise is the one only he having many services he having many services uh, 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 so yeah can you uh, mute from there something i think <laughs> yeah please can you mute it now okay what is this gmail okay this e email idea let me yeah. okay let me copy this one and then, uh, okay let me confirm once you receive that one okay i share on text email okay so okay so now you can see here in that and uh, if you expand this value you can see and uh, you can see in us uh, if you expand that value okay you can see here that and a uh, billing history whenever bill was created okay these are the billing history you know you can see then and uh, i was in that page of an uh, okay that an account financial information when the bill created okay these are the billing information i was in that an field activity uh, the premise information so let me explore that one value okay so i think this was here okay so now you can see your premise information what is the premise address what is the ci division when what is the service point linked to that okay so you can see this information sana on the home page itself and before i was on uh, uh, one information of the account so you can expand and uh, uh, each and you can see that information okay so you can expand this value service credit membership application uh, customer information alerts okay so you can see this information so these are the uh, information available if you want to see any uh, let's say if you want to see any last bill okay so how last bill look like if you click on the bill so do you see so once you click from the hyperlink this is the bill and a bill page and a layout how this bills and a look like so now if you know the bill id so you can and a from account or from main menu also you can go to the financial information and you can search the bill and you can provide the bill id and you can see okay so there are many way to go to that bill so navigation point of view i will tell you that from the main menu you can go to the each module and then sub module and see what is the uh, search there first you try with the search because you will see the existing information and then you will click on the add button you will find that and uh, how to add that and uh, in uh, how to add that and a uh, page and then if you from search you want to do the maintenance you can do the maintenance also then from admin area these are the information there okay suppose and uh, let's and uh, let's do some and uh, hands on so suppose and uh, one customer call to you okay one customer call you and you want to create one customer contact you want to create one customer contact so what is what is the process so if you and uh, just and uh, ask the customer ki what is your and uh, name or do you have any account with our uh, with us or not first question will be your do you have any account with us so he will say yes or no if he say yes then you can ask his and uh, a mobile number or or on a or mobile number or account number then you can search in the system suppose that person is not in your system and he is just on a raise any complaint that complaint will be like general complaint maybe he find some on a uh, some fire fire happen or some kind of any and a like sparking happen with other or on the road side so he he is anonymously just trying to report you okay for that kind of customer what we do for that kind of customer what we do just we create only person uh, just we create only person no need to create the account so how you will create the person you see here here uh, add person is there here add person is there and from main menu also from the customer information you, you have that customer information you have the person person and add you can click on person add so this person can be two type one person will be anonymous person just for an uh, temper you just added him and one customer can be your uh, one person can be your customer in future he is going to become your customer 
so now how to create the person you will have that on a main menu customer and person plus okay person plus and and you can do from the uh, account information when you are in the control center page you can click on the plus also so you, it will be create person here okay suppose one person is on a i want to create one person an account okay i want to create one person an account so let's say demo and uh, demo 30 september okay i put person name demo 30 september okay today date i put this is the person name if you want to add some uh, alias as i told you want to additional information you can add if you don't want no need you you can delete from that and delete line then you have to person contact how you want to contact the person through mobile or through okay so you can say cell phone number okay by cell phone number this is the format this is the configuration part in this demo they have given the format you have to enter in the same format only okay let's say i added this this, this value then you need to add the id type okay id so generally this kind of customer i am uh, preferring one individual customer okay i am preferring the individual customer so you can use the employee id also okay so you can use uh, uh, some employee id now very important concept is there okay very important concept is there very important concept you want to create the account so you can uh, you can leave the check as like that only if you don't to if you just want to create the person only so you can uncheck this one so this will create the person only not account so i will uncheck this one and i will tell you how to add the account okay so you can uh, check also the account can be created same time okay account can be created same type of the customer class residential so by default they are saying residential so you can use residential if you want to change you can change also okay so before before uh, uh, saving this <coughs> account you need to make sure whether you want to add the account or not that is the one thing if you want to add the account what kind of account you want to add it so this information is very important i will do uncheck this one okay i don't want to create the account i just want to create the person once you click here one message is coming i i purposely not did that one so that you can see that issue okay person this is the person it should have the last name and first name okay so we have to add here last name and first name here we can say here comma uh, demo okay demo comma demo let's say demo comma demo okay so you can save this one let's see at least a uh, next thing next thing at least one active person must be primary so he's saying ki you have given the number na so one should be as a primary so i will make it as a primary purposely i am not giving so that you will uh, get that message and you will try to show now see now important thing first was your uh, it's 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 a configuration is like that the person should be have the first name and last name okay with separation of comma that is the one one validation second thing whenever you are adding the mobile number you need to make it on a one as a primary so that it will be send you to communication purpose that is the one second thing third thing this id is already used id number is already used okay so saying the person id sanjay must be in the format format means they are saying in this format okay so that means format means we have to provide in the uh, uh, 99 and then this one two three nine i think uh, seven times seven okay so let me check i think i put one less i think okay so see here now you can see here with that on a basic validation your data entry is done so inform uh, person is person is a person name is added phone number added and that id is added and i have not created the account to so see in the dashboard area you will see in the dashboard area one person is created if you refresh this one you will find here one person is created in the dashboard area so see the dashboard area and person id also created if you pass this information in your database where <clears throat> where per underscore id equal to this one okay so once you pass this value you can see from the database also your uh, one entry is created for this one see one entry is created person is created the same thing you know 
you can pass to the other table for this account you can see this whatever your ad, whatever your person added whatever your contact added whatever your id added that you can see from the back end also okay so this way your person is created and only person is created you can see here this person don't have any account here see this person has zero account because i have created the person so this is the easiest way to enter this value and passing the validation your person id is created if you want to add later you want to modify some more thing you want to add the uh, a correspondence which is not mandatory that's why it is not on a stop you whatever mandatory it will stop you if you want to add the characteristics value you can add that one if you want to person whatever is not mandatory it is not asked mandatory is your name phone and id these three things are mandatory okay and then you can see person is uh, don't have the account now my point is how to create the account okay if you have the person id if you are on the person page so from here here also you can add the account you can add the account so from page also you can add the account and from the dashboard also you see the dashboard on person is there from person also you can add the account so dashboard also support you this thing so this is a from the dashboard you can create from the person page also you can create and if you know the person id so from an, uh, from main menu also you can do so no need to go in the main menu so now you have the two option to create the account let's create the account okay let's create the account person go to the account add so you can click on the add button once you click on the add button since you are navigating to the person page you, you you can see account person your person is linked here so this is the uh, link account per table so this is the account per table this is the account per table which is created when you navigate from the account account to the person page account to the person page this table maintain this data okay this table maintain this data so you can see person is already populated here now i need to give the customer information so what is the customer information one is the ci division you want to use let's say california i put okay that is the one thing then you have the bill cycle in which bill cycle so california uh, uh, oyo oyo let's say bill cycle this added so once you save this information with basic thing it is asking the premise because premise is still not created so you, you can create and you can attach here later okay you can attach here later so this way see your per account is created your account is created now now you see in the dashboard area person and account is showing here see person account showing now you can use this person uh, account id and you can do the query in the account related table okay where account id equal to where basic things in a account underscore id equal to this thing you have to do on a uh, four times more than me okay so my two hour and your an at least an a four hour is required to an explore and uh, repeat and explore okay two things i am expecting because for me i told you okay, even six months is plus for me okay but if i go in that way so but it's an a practically in any institution or any any in a training center it is not possible to engage that and if it any big certification course or graduation course to engage so that's why you know uh, you have to do practice like you, know, you have to explore and next day you come with any issue then solve so you have to do uh, like you know, at least twice or four times than me in you know, practice then only it will you know, work with a you know, more better way you see here whatever the account is created and whatever information is account level it is showing here in account we have one basic things if you want to <coughs> add the alert or because we were discussing many times so you can add the alert like a uh, payment arrangement is not allowed or payment arrangement is not allowed or you, you want to create your own alert you can create your own alert also okay so let me in a uh, uh, alert uh, so suppose you want to add the alert go to alert okay alert type okay so you can see this is the base alert types are though two are there so you can add so you know how to so once i will explain you can add for many things so let's uh, uh, demo okay demo and i use an uh, 180 360 90 let's put it 90 and this is uh, uh, demo customer okay customer okay demo customer this is for demo customer so i can save this one now important thing is whether if you go to previous page it will show you or not okay this is the important thing so then you will learn the another part on a you I, I configuration i added 
but is this showing here it is no it's showing here because we have to do the uh, flush we have to do the flush then only configuration will appear so as i explain you key for flush we have that on a this one you can directly in a copy this one query copy and and you can uh, paste here okay you can paste here and click on that one sorry uh, so uh, okay okay i i pasted the before sentence also no then you can do see here this is the information color global flush request was not successfully please check the plus all flush done okay plus all flush is done now you go back to your uh, application go back to your application okay so if i go now i will go to that account so i remember the account id also and i can search by the person and i need to click here uh, control center okay uh, i i know the name also right demo we know the name also so we can search by demo okay because it is a unique name and we given only so immediately page come okay now what we were learning to add the add the alerts here so see now if you see here alerts is coming see now here demo customer you can add the alerts here and alerts start date will be the current date and end date and whatever you can put it the end date after that it will be go from the system i will show you let's an uh, save like that only okay if you save on uh, 30 september to by default it is giving in a uh, september na uh, 3 month okay so see here on the dashboard area it is showing alert me demo customer this is the demo customer so see alert what is showing as a demo i want to uh, to expire this one so i can put the back date okay i i can put the back date so it will be expired don't delete okay oracle never suggest to delete 29 i put it the uh, 29 okay i put the <clears throat> i put the 09 and uh, 09 let's put the 0909 okay sorry matlab uh, start will be that uh, okay one day before and i paste this uh, i put the back date okay if you see the back date so what will happen so you see uh, from the dashboard alert has gone okay but i will tell you ki never practice to on a uh matter like you know you can uh, uh, okay so this is the end date so if, even if you are giving the end date today it will be up to today it will be visible okay if you give it today today is the 30th okay today is the 30th so you can see okay. 30th okay so you can see 30th 30th for one uh, 30th 30th you can see here uh, it is it is showing here okay so once this date will expire it will be not visible so that's why we put some on uh, Uh, like an a uh, good date here okay you can put it in a uh, whatever 31st and uh, december okay uh, sorry uh, 30 here 12 okay and here december 31st in december okay so now if you see and uh, it will be uh, it will be visible so this concept you learn how to do the configuration and how to do the flush okay you can do the flush so that your configuration will be visible if you don't do the flush your will be not an visible will be not visible so like that only at any place you can add the alerts you can add the practices value okay you can add the practices value also so this way you can add the alerts and that will be visible so this was all about your an a person and account created okay next thing and we will learn how to create the uh, uh, like an <clears throat> how to wanna create the, uh, let's uh, learn the how to do the uh, uh, account replicator okay so then we will move to the person and account so we can do the account replicator suppose i am a person and you are a person you, you come for the 10 meter or you you come for the 5 meter okay because you have the five flat you purchase five flat or you constructed five flat or two flat or three flat or 10 flat or 100 flat so person is the unique thing person should not duplicated because your email id phone number and id yani your aadhar card your pan card will be not duplicated so that's why you know what we do person will be the unique and then you can create the multiple account okay so creating the multiple account and if you want to create only one account then easy way is easy way is just from an a person you can go and add one more account you can go and add one more account that is the easy way but if i tell you to create that 10 then you go add account add account add account add account you will go home all oh, bala too many account created okay so that's that time we use the replicated terms okay that that time we use the replicated terms what is the how to use that one in customer we have that on a here you see here account person replicator okay 
अकाउंट पर्सन रिप्लीकेटर